Miss Pneumatic here. Today we're going to learn about regulators. Regulators are pneumatic devices that take compressed air generated from the air compressor, adjusts the pressure as necessary, and then stably supplies it to the next stage. It is usually installed in the next step after removing foreign substances from the compressed air from the filter. It is also installed between the filter and lubricator in the form of an air clean unit. Let's take a look at the animation to learn why regulators are needed, its components, and operating principle. What are regulators used for? Let's learn about why regulators are needed and their advantages. First, it can push out air at a constant pressure to activate the actuator stably. In the first stage of the pneumatic system process, compressed air is created in the air compressor, and by the time it reaches the regulator, the compressed air pressure is not constant, but constantly changes while passing through various processes. By installing a regulator, it is possible to supply compressed air at a constant pressure in the pneumatic system, and therefore, stable operation of the actuator that operates later is possible. Second, it is possible to operate the system more economically by minimizing the quantity of wasted compressed air. Wastes of compressed air is reduced because the pressure is appropriately set as needed by the user. For example, an air compressor that produces compressed air at 7 bar is used. And let's assume that the pressure needed for operating the actuator is 5 bar. If a regulator is not used, 7 bar are supplied to the actuator, and so it uses more air than needed. But by using a regulator, compressed air can be supplied constantly at 5 bar, thus reducing air consumption. And in the long run, it can help conserve energy costs. OK, so we learned why we need to use regulators. Now, let's take a look at the internal components and operating principles of regulators. Regulators are divided into the relief and non-relief types, depending on its operating method. Today, we are going to learn about the components of relief types that are used in most industries. The relief type lowers pressure to the set value by discharging the pressure that is in the excess of that set in the outlet pressure. I will give you more details in the operating principle part. Let's first take a look at the components. There is an inlet and outlet where compressed air flows. There is a main valve, valve spring, and valve stem that opens and closes the air hole. The middle part includes the relief valve and diaphragm. Below it is a pressure adjustment spring, which we will call the adjusting spring. The adjusting screw that supports the spring from the bottom. The control handle that adjusts the pressure settings. And there is a relief port. Let's now learn about the operating principle of regulators to see how the internal components activate inside the regulator. We will take a look at the pressure setting methods of regulators and how the set pressure is kept constant by the regulator. First, let's see how pressure is set in the regulator. In order to supply pressure stably, the regulator decompresses incoming compressed air and sends it out constantly. The level of compression can be set by turning the handle on the bottom. By turning the handle clockwise, it can be decompressed slightly for higher pressure output. And by turning the handle counterclockwise, it is decompressed significantly for low pressure output. Please be advised that the direction of turning the handle can differ for different brand products. By turning the regulator to each direction, it is possible to adjust the settings for the desired output. Once the settings are determined, the regulator makes constant set pressure possible. 
How is it possible to make the continuously changing pressure stay constant? Among the internal parts, the main valve, diaphragm, and adjusting spring are in charge of this. These parts move fluidly to adjust to the original settings when the output pressure is different from the setting. Basic Operating Principle of Regulators When Raising Pressure When Lowering Pressure Let's use these three cases to take a deeper look on how the regulator keeps output pressure constant. First, compressed air comes in through the inlet and flows out through the outlet in the regulator. Some of the compressed air is not removed through the outlet, but flows into the diaphragm chamber through the microtubes. Here, the pressure at the outlet and the internal pressure of the diaphragm are the same. The pressure of the compressed air flowing into the diaphragm has equal relations with the set adjusting spring force to achieve a state of pressure equilibrium. Here, pressure equilibrium means a state where output is adjusted properly to the set value. When the output pressure is different from the settings, the regulator continuously moves the internal parts to maintain pressure equilibrium. Secondly, let's take a look at when raising pressure. Let's raise the pressure settings by turning the handle clockwise. By turning the handle clockwise, the adjusting screw touching the handles will slowly move up. Then the adjusting spring will compress and the spring's force will become larger than the compressed air pressure in the diaphragm chamber to raise the diaphragm. Then the valve stem and main valve will also rise by the diaphragm to raise the air hole. As the air hole becomes more open, more compressed air with higher pressure flows into the inlet. Then the pressure at the outlet and diaphragm chamber gradually rises again. In result, if the diaphragm chamber pressure becomes equal to the adjusting spring force, the diaphragm and main valve drops again to maintain pressure equilibrium. Let's see the situation when pressure is lowered. We will now lower the settings by turning the handle counterclockwise this time. By turning the handle counterclockwise, the adjusting screw drops down and the compressed adjusting spring once again increases to reduce the force of the adjusting spring. And the pressure at the outlet rises above the settings and the diaphragm drops. When the diaphragm goes down, air is created in the relief valve between the valve stem and diaphragm. Through this space, the pressure at the outlet that is higher than the settings is discharged. Once some amount is discharged, the outlet pressure and spring force becomes equal, and it once again goes into pressure equilibrium to maintain the pressure value set lower. Okay, so today we learned about regulators. You may have thought of it to be a simple part that adjusts the pressure, but it is more complicated than you may have expected, right? If you have any questions or difficulties, please leave a comment. Please subscribe and like to help me upload high-quality contents in the future. Thank you! Miss Pneumatic Channel is working together with KCC Precision. 